also add a lot of innovation to the interior. This is uh, uh, a pictorial of one of the ideas that we came up with, we call it sliding stove. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, premium materials, you've seen this in the, if you were with us last year, when we introduced the, uh, the sole, a significant upgrade in materials on all the touch points, door panels, the IP, carpet, seat materials, everywhere you interact with the vehicle is a significant lift in all of our uh, materials. And that was a key point for us in developing this vehicle also. Uh, of course, uh, it's an MPV uh, and safety is very, very important for this category. Uh, advanced technology, Henry will be up here a few minutes later to talk to us about the UVO, but also some safety technology with it. Uh, and of course, it's a Kia, so there's a tremendous value story with it. And it all starts with the design. Uh, for us, uh, the big area that we started with was proportion. The vehicle uh, sits very well on its wheels, and this was the key tenant that uh, Peter Schreier works on, is to have that athletic stance where it's sitting proud and strong on a very solid foundation of uh, great wheel spacing. Uh, aggressive lines, the, the body to glass ratio is very, very close to what you would see in a CUV. Uh, you can see the, uh, the belt line uh, raising as it goes to the rear of the vehicle. Also, we add a lot of uh, upscale luxury touches such as Xenon HID headlamps, Halo LED positioning lamps, and also 19-inch wheels, which is on the, the SXL that we have here in front of us. So for us, that, uh, that proud, strong CUV face that you usually don't see in this category really shows that uh, you, you can drive a stylish vehicle and still have uh, practicality and uh, accommodations. And the story continues also on the inside. We brought some new ideas here also, which is uh, this idea of moving the, I the shifter off of the IP down onto the center console. Now for years we've heard this whole story about this pass-through is very, very important. In our research we found that there's really not a lot of folks who uh, have used that feature over and over. And in fact, when we asked uh, those who have had minivans and migrated to CVs, we asked about the pass-through, they're like, we don't do that. I mean, how many people actually stand up while the vehicle's rolling and try to get to the back? So we took that as a cue of moving that shifter down the middle, just like it is on a CUV. Also, some design cues that uh, we were very successful with Optima, you can see this very driver-centric uh, cant to the IP and a very nice uh, binnacle and instrument cluster that uh, reminds someone that this is, uh, has a, a unique driver-oriented uh, overall perception. So when you drive a vehicle, not only does it look confident from the outside, but when you sit inside the vehicle with the console and the shifter next to you, you feel a lot more confident about driving it. And for us, this was a key area for development that we uh, were bringing forward. Uh, available two-tone Napa leather, uh, a lot of features from the standpoint of PowerPoints, Small item storage, which we did a lot of work in understanding where people uh, put different items. Uh, one of the ideas is uh, we came up with two glove boxes, one on the upper, one on the lower. Uh, this huge center console, you'll get to have a chance to check that out today uh, when you uh, uh, see the vehicle. And also, front and center in the middle of the, of the IP is this great 8 inch uh, telematics and infotainment screen. Uh, I mentioned a little bit about the seating at the outset. Uh, the sliding stove, which was our idea where uh, when we talked to our owners and people in this category, how many people actually take uh, the seat out and what do you do with the seat once it comes out? Uh, and uh, we, we weigh some of these seats, they're up to 90 pounds and it's tough to bend over inside a vehicle and lift 90 pounds and bring it out when you've got all the mechanism underneath. And uh, we've had a lot of people tell us, well, I tried it once or twice and uh, it was a pain, so we just leave it in there, put the seats down, and work around them. So for us, and we also uh, understood that most of the CUVs seats are not removable either. So we came up with this idea, working with one of our suppliers, uh, to design a seat that the cushion moves up and the whole seat moves forward. So with the flip of a lever, you can go from passenger capacity all the way to a full cargo mode in just a matter of seconds. Uh, and for us, this is really, really one of the key innovations that uh, we've developed for the vehicle. Also, 40, 20, 40 uh, configuration, that center section can, uh, is our eighth passenger. We have a, a version that has seven passengers and eight passengers. If you're not using that one, you can take that out of the vehicle uh, for occasional use. Uh, also, um, we're the first and only MPV to introduce uh, heated second row seats in the category because the seats are, are part of the vehicle. 
So a lot of really cool ideas on the inside. Also, uh, on the up-level version, which we have in the, in the fleet you'll be driving today, on our SXL models, it has available first-class lounge seating. And here, it includes the, this uh, very stunning two-tone Napa leather interior, premium leather interior, but also a lot of other features, such as an articulated headrest. So we got a lot of inspiration from the long trips to Korea on, uh, in business class, where you can move the seat rests up and forward. You can articulate the headrest, so if you're taking a nap, you can keep the head stable. Uh, also a folding and extending footrest, so you can move the, vehicle, the seat back and extend that out. The seat, uh, the seat back goes all the way down, almost uh, to uh, a near uh, flat position, not quite. It's uh, about, uh, I don't know what the exact uh, measurement is, but it's, uh, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, and also the best second row with this configuration, best second row leg room in, in the category. It's a lot of innovation there. And then also, of course, the third row uh, for this category, the, uh, the seats go down into a well in, uh, in the rear. Uh, a lot of work also went into uh, making this as accessible and roomy as possible. Uh, using the uh, Consumer Reports methodology, which uh, tests the space based on what size, of the largest size cube you can get in there. It's about 62.1 cubic feet. And then using the standard SE measurements, about 142 uh, cubic feet of cargo volume. And also a lot of other uh, innovative ideas we're introducing on this vehicle for the first time, uh, what we refer to as a smart car lift gate. And here, uh, if you stand behind the vehicle with a key fob uh, in your pocket and stay, stay there for a few seconds, the vehicle senses it and automatically lifts the tailgate. And if you have your handful of uh, groceries or cargo, it's a lot easier to do that than stand on one foot and wave, your, wave around trying to get the vehicle to open up for you. So, Stand there and wait, and the vehicle does it automatically. Uh, we put this graphic on the page mainly to illustrate two things. Number one, it's a very spacious interior, but also a lot of work went into uh, with the packaging, packaging engineers to make the space as square and as, as accessible as possible. Here we move the closure uh, assist up, uh, up, up on the, uh, the body in white and away from having any kind of uh, mechanisms hanging into the, the cargo space. Uh, also, the cooling unit and some of the other accessories have been pushed far up and out of the way as possible to, to make the uh, space very accessible. For cargo modes, you can put the two side doors open and, it, and it's just a great looking interior for moving content around.